Pochad, Pochady, Pochadi, Pochad, Pochad. We'll go with Pochad. Hello, minders. Welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor. Today we're going to do a review on this. This is the Gorilla Painter Pashad Box. But more than that, we're going to talk about Pashad Boxes and if they're usable for watercolor. Traditionally, a Pashad Box is an oil painter's plein air easel. Uh, they are used for watercolor and that's what we're going to talk about. And we're going to talk about how you can adapt these for watercolor because in a lot of cases these are designed to be used for oil painting or acrylic type painting mediums. Well, first of all, let's take a look at the box. Now, most of the things that Gorilla Painter sells are sold a la carte or as separate accessories. So I'm gonna try to point out to you which things uh, come with the initial box and which things you have to buy separately. They take the approach that you buy a basic, a very basic box and everything else is an add-on like this case. This is a carrying case, shoulder strap, handles, front pocket, and a little back pocket. Now the idea behind the Peshad box is that it's sort of a self-contained studio. It's a carrier and an easel all in one. Here you can see uh, there's a pocket up here. This has a, a drop-in feature which we'll talk about in a minute. And then here's the box. Gorilla Painter makes several sizes of these, up to really large, down to this. This one's called the thumb box, mainly because it has a thumb hole. But they have a smaller box than this yet, a really small one called a pocket box. I'll put the link down in the video description so you can look at their site and see what all is available. They're also sold on Amazon. The Gorilla Peshad box is very nicely made. It's, it's solid. It's made of uh, very durable but lightweight plywood. You open the box, loosen this, this right here tightens so that you can adjust the angle. And on the bottom here is the tripod mount. So you can mount this on a tripod. Now this is one of the extras. You have to buy that extra. It's not very expensive. Um, if you ever want to put this on a tripod, I suggest that you buy one of these. It also has feet that will sit on a table or a thumb box so you can hold it and rest it on your arm and paint. Let's go ahead and put this on the tripod and look at it. Now this is a standard receptacle to use with a standard tripod mount. So this is from my tripod. I'm going to mount it here. And then that mounts to your tripod. I recommend that if you use a tripod or buy a tripod specifically for this, you buy the ball head type. It's much easier to adjust than the kind with the pan handle, the kind that pans and tilts. A ball head just gives you uh, micro adjustments in any direction at once. Let's go ahead and take a look at the features. Now the top rotates up and this arm on the side here allows you to adjust the angle. It can lay almost flat back, so that's a plus for watercolor. Tighten that down real good. This top part is designed to hold your painting panels. Now, typically, um, oil painters or acrylic painters will transport these panels. I'm just using this as sort of a, a spacer. The equivalent for that in watercolor would be uh, like illustration board. In this case I've got arches. Arches watercolor board makes a great painting panel just as if you were painting with oil. I go ahead and tape these off and uh, I like a tape border but there's another reason I'll show you in a minute. Another good choice is 300 pound paper. Because this practically heavy illustration board weight as it is. 
So they make good painting panels that you can take. Let's take a close-up look at the carrier. What they've done is they've put these little spacers in here and it's spaced away from the back. Now that's useful for watercolor also. It's designed for uh, a painter once they have finished their painting, they can turn it around while it's still wet, holds it without touching the top, but the space in there uh, allows the wet paint to not be contacted. Now while watercolors dry a lot faster, it's still a handy feature. In addition, it just stores your panels till you can get set up, till you can get set up and start painting. Now another good reason that I tape off my border is for a nice aesthetic border, but also because these kind of encroach on your painting. So my tape comes about to where those are, and I don't have to worry about trying to get paint behind them or painting edge to edge. I carry a, a actual oil painting panel too, or I have it available at least. It's cut to size to fit. This is a, a six by eight box, I believe. I'll put the specs down in there. I think it's a six by eight or a six by nine. Uh, but one of the things you can do with an oil panel is if you want to cut an odd piece of watercolor paper or a light piece, like 140 pounds, something that's flimsier and not hard card like this, you can tape it to an oil panel. So that's a good thing to consider if you're looking to use a Peshad box. Let's look at a couple of the other features. This fold-out is an extra. You pay extra for this. Just gives you an extra work surface, uh, a slot here for hanging things, um, holes for putting your brushes. I purchased this because I'm going to probably put folded towel over here. I'll use, I may use the brush holes. I'm not sure. Then this slides out, and you have a storage area beneath. You can put tubes of paint in there if you want, but uh, if you, it, it's better just to put your palette. Gorilla Painter even sells a, a palette size to fit this box. I bought that extra. This does not come with the box. You can put any palette you want in here. You could put a small little uh, plein air watercolor box, like a little Sennelier box if you want, and you'd have extra room to store other things. Um, but if you want a bigger, fuller palette, um, Gorilla Painter makes this one. I've already set mine up with landscape colors that are M gram, and I'm all set to go. You can put brushes in here, you can put rags, uh, as I said, tubes of paint. I carry my brushes in a brush wallet, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, this palette fits nicely in here for storage, and I have room for this rag. My setup, I believe, is going to be to put this slide back. Put my paper towel here and I'll clip it with a clip. I'm going to hang my water container here and hold a rag in my hand. There's one other accessory that you can get and that's this what they call a drop-in easel. That just allows you to use a bigger panel than you can store inside the box. And it just drops down in that storage area. So a bigger panel will sit in and there are wires that come down and bracket it and hold it from the top. So this is a nice little accessory to get if you think you want to paint bigger than your box. And lastly, I have this little hanger which hangs my brush washer just on the side of the box. I believe they sell one that you can buy. I just made that out of a piece of aluminum that I had. And with that, this is all set up and ready to paint. The advantage, again, of one of these boxes is self-contained supplies for the most part. You'll probably have to carry a few extra things that won't fit in the case or in the box. Um, quick and easy setup. Just open the top, take out your palette, and start painting. A place to turn paintings around and let them dry in case you need to just quickly go and just sort of a nice little contained art studio. I fooled around with the drop-in easel just to see if I could like clip journals to this and I could. There are ways 
you can clip like little watercolor journals to it. I don't think I'm going to use it for that. I think I prefer to just hold the journal in my hand or on my flat plain air easel. But it's possible. So with that, I think I'm going to do a little bit of painting. Well, I think that's going to bring this little plein air adventure to an end. That was an enjoyable little painting. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you got some useful information from this review. Thanks so much for watching, and I really appreciate patrons for sponsoring this episode and many of my others. I couldn't do it without you. We'll see everybody next time.